I'm Shannon, and I'm back with another Scene Queen hair tutorial. It's about time, am I right, guys? So a lot of you who have been following me for a long time know that my most iconic scene emo hair of all time was this one. Black and green, baby, all day, all the way, and it was modeled after the OG Monster Can, every scene kid's favorite drink. But it is not 2007 anymore, you guys. In fact, we're way past that. We are now in the midst of the Roaring 20s. There's a new kid on the block in terms of emo monsters, and her name is Ultra Strawberry Dreams. I actually haven't tasted it yet, but I'm inspired by the can alone to dye my hair in a matching way. I think I've got the colors picked out perfectly. Right now, I have Manic Panic's Cotton Candy Pink, which I intend on mixing with Arctic Fox's Virgin Pink because this one's a little bit darker, and I think that will give us the perfect monster pink and I'm also gonna be doing some accents just like the top of the can in Ion's Garnet. It's very dark pink almost red and I think it's gonna look perfect. Game plan is to change this wig that I'm wearing right now. I am over it. I've been called a Karen more times on the internet since I've dyed my hair in this fashion ever than ever in my life before like I've never been called a Karen before and apparently this wig is giving Karen so we've got to change that the plan is to change this blue to that light cotton candy pink and change the blonde money piece to the garnet red to take this one over the top and make sure it is giving emo in every possible sense I'm also going to be doing some little coontails all throughout the wig in the same garnet color to tie it all together first things first we got to get the color out of this bad boy <gasps> <laughs> I've got my trusty wig stand as well as some hair color remover. So without any further ado, let's get to stripping. And I'm talking about the hair, people. So first things first, let's secure her to the wig stand that we've got with some little pins just to make sure that she doesn't have any slippage while we're doing this. Today I'm going to be using Ion's color remover and I actually have gloves on <laughs> like most scene queens. This one was the only color remover in the store that actually specified both non-oxidative color and oxidative color, which is why I got it. But as you will soon see, it only worked on the silver. The blue barely lightened, maybe like a shade, but still gonna show you guys the process because we're real here. So here you can see that the lightning process kind of worked, but only barely. And since that was the case, I had to bleach this bad boy because otherwise she's going to turn purple. I actually did this on a live stream, so if you guys want to see the whole process, I have that linked in the description below. Also, make sure you check out my live streams. I stream here on YouTube every Monday and Friday, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm using 20 developer. This is such a light color. I figured that was all it was going to need, and thank God I was correct because... I don't think this wig could handle another bleaching and or color removal session. So now she is completely lightened and you guys may be able to see there's some little spots of sort of like chlorine looking green, but I think it's light enough that the pink will still look true to its color. separate out the money pieces that we'll be doing red and get to work mixing together some Manic Panic Cotton Candy Pink and Arctic Fox's Virgin Pink to make the perfect monster pink.
Once I'm done with applying all of the pink, I'm going to saran wrap that section just to make sure that none of the darker pink slash red gets on it. Keep it all separated. Don't question me, my thoughts will leave you and like I said at the beginning, let's go to town with some ion garnet on these money pieces. Honestly, the most important thing for this step is making sure that I'm not getting any of the dye on the lace because like I said in my last wig dyeing video, that was a massive fucking mistake. Uh, the green and black did not sit well on my head because the lace turned black and the girl's pasty, so did an extra careful job this time. It's too hard being too face, isn't it? But don't you dare say that it's too bad you're too two-faced to ever pick a side. And it's too bad you're too two-faced to make up your fucking mind. We'll split you down the middle. This will only hurt a bit. It's too hard being two-faced, isn't it? It's too hard being two-faced, isn't it? And finally, for the last step, the most fun thing of all, the coontails. I've never done these before, and I initially started trying with a real dye brush, and I realized quickly that that was just gonna drag through all the hair and blend it and make it look super messy, so I immediately switched to using Q-tips, and I think that worked out perfect. I did about eight different coontails all throughout the hair, just because I wasn't really sure what I should do in terms of placement, um, but you'll see how it turns out.
working on this. She is finally finished. I really like how it turned out, especially for my first time doing coontails. It could have gone a lot worse, frankly. I've got this really good one right here. Like some of them turned out perfect, like the one in the top. However, I put some a little too low in the back and they just kind of look like splotches. So I may bleach them out. Lesson learned, the coontails need to go on top so you can see them. Otherwise, you're just gonna see the tail end and it's gonna look real stupid. But overall, I think from the front, it looks fantastic. I love it for my first attempt. 8 out of 10, cannot complain. I really love the collar combination too. My boyfriend said I look like a Dr. Seuss character, but I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I think it's cute. I love how the garnet turned out. And, oh my God, it's time to try the monster, you guys. So here she is in all her glory, all her pink and red glory. Seems like we went a little too dark to match the can, but overall the idea is there and it is very seen, so. Let's go ahead and try our Ultra Strawberry Dreams monster for the first time. I'm definitely only taking a sip because it's like nine o'clock at night, but I want to try it. Ooh, that's good. Subtle, unlike my hair. <laughs> we love her. New iconic scene queen monster look unlocked. Thank you guys so much for watching my newest scene queen hair tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I really like how this look turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think of my, um, my coon tail attempts. If you think they ended up looking good or if they need work. I love you guys all so much. I really appreciate all of your love and support lately, both on my videos, my live streams, and my TikToks. We're going crazy over on TikTok, so make sure you're following me there. Other than that, I will see you either on Monday or Friday with a live stream or next Wednesday with another video, so stay tuned. Love you, Shin fam. I'll see you very shortly. Bye. Had to do that because we're extra seen right now. It's member shout out time. And as always, I wanna give a big extra special thank you to my Shan fam VIP members, which include Johnny S, K-pop fam, Samantha, Danae S, Toby M, Rick, Emerson, Eric R, Carter Quinn, CK's Nails, Karina C, Sydney H, Star H, and Emily Smith. If you wanna join us, make sure you click that link in the top of the description or click the join button next to this video and you'll get a lot of extra special perks like getting your name on this little end screen shout out. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.